The next parameter in the timber section we'll look at is the trim control, which is pretty self-explanatory. Increasing this parameter will apply a tremolo effect by increasing the depth of the tremel. Also in the timber section are three amplitude envelope controls. The first parameter controls the attack of the sound, which is how fast the sound reaches its highest amplitude after the key is pressed. As you increase this value, you can hear how the sound will have a slow swell-in type effect. The decay parameter will control how the sound decays in volume after the sound has reached its amplitude peak. Lower values will make the decay faster, and of course, the opposite as you increase the value makes the decay longer. The release parameter controls how fast the sound drops to infinity after the keyboard is released. So to get a better idea, I will show you the levels of my audio interfaces mixer. With the value set high, after releasing the note, watch as the levels slowly drop to infinity. Whereas when the level is set to its lowest setting, the meters will drop rapidly after releasing the key. Lastly, with the amplitude envelope, it is possible to have their values controlled by the velocity of the note being played by activating the velocity switch. The pluck parameter is used to create a sound that is similar to a string instrument when the strings are plucked. The volume slider really needs no introduction. It controls the volume of the instrument. It does have a velocity switch, which tells the instrument to have its amplitude level follow the variant velocity levels from the notes being played from your MIDI controller keyboard. The detune section controls the pitch of the instrument. The first slider controls the master pitch, which is altered in cents. The second slider applies detuning to the note being played. The grit parameter applies pitch shifting to the harmonics of the sound. Values to the right apply positive pitch shifting, while values to the left will apply a negative pitch shifting. The vibe parameter applies a vibrato to the sound. The LFO parameter applies a low frequency oscillator to add some movements to the overall sound generated by the timber section. The portamento parameter applies a pitch slide between notes being played as opposed to pitch jumping directly from one pitch to another. The legato ensures that the instrument is only able to play one note at a time, but it does it in a way so that when a new note is played while still holding down the original note, the second note will not re-trigger the timber oscillator. Instead, just changes the pitch of the oscillator itself. The time parameter controls the time the note will slide from one pitch to another when playing the instrument in legato mode. This can also be controlled with the note's velocity by activating the velocity switch. And that concludes our look of the sound generation with the timber section in Harmless. In the next video, we'll look at the filter section as well as looking at some of the other parameters and effects that can be used to tweak your sound.